Hi folks, Dino Bob here, and this is Destination Chadochta 2 um, in Lake Wainwright Park. Um, so we're continuing that tour of the big complex, and we're going to start outside of it, um, as we did before, but a little bit closer. Uh, not much change since the last video from this part, but we're going to stop just inside and take a look at something I forgot to show in the last video. I uh, still don't have the land, uh, the, the gardening landscaping done here in the uh, uh, atrium here, but we do have a waterfall. Um, and uh, wanted to get a little bit of action in here as a, a feature and something else going on in this area, which is mostly just a transit zone. So let's go transiting. Uh, this time we're going to look at the other uh, two animals that are in here, and they share a couple of these structures. You see the one in front of us, as well as the uh, sort of garden pond area here that I hope will be a habitat someday. But uh, we're waiting on a lot of animals uh, still, uh, at least animals that I had hoped to do in this park. Uh, so let's look at the ones we've got. Uh, you can see the, the two animals in the sign there and also on the information sign come into the building and we're going to move to the right. <coughs> Excuse me. There's a walkway here that uh, has an entrance uh, over there to the uh, gift shop and uh, restrooms and uh, restaurants that are in the, the other building. So uh, there is a view of the uh, exhibit uh, there and also here we can see a, a frolicking uh, protoceratops right now. Um, these um, structures are all interconnected. Uh, there is a guest pathway in which is where the camera is situated right now. You can see, uh, if you were paying attention, the animals are using the rocks, and we'll see that again. Uh, we go through to the next building connector. That's the entrance to the courtyard there. And uh, move a little bit further down this walkway without walking through the wall. And take a look in. There's uh, rocks right up here by the camera. Uh, which will, when the animals use it, uh, give our guests a very close uh, look. Here's one of the protos uh, emerging from uh, the care area, which is between these two buildings, but not open to the public. Uh, the basic habitats are the same in all of these um, buildings uh, in terms of their size, except for this one, which is a little bit longer. And that was partly to make the combination of the buildings all sit together. And I did go in and change the rock layout. And of course, they all have uh, different vegetation layouts. Uh, so they're not all exactly the same. Uh, and the animals here have access to the outside. Uh, we're looking ahead to the other courtyard entrance. And that's the Velociraptor one in the distance and it is yet unoccupied one to our right. Oops, that's a, an oops. I forgot one of the archways. Uh, that's something I'll have to go back in and fix. Uh, so we're going to pop into the habitat, and I'm going to take you over here past the water pan underneath this rock, and this is the door to the outside. Uh, this is where our animals, when the weather is suitable, can come out, possibly have a swim, there's a viewing area there, and uh, our guests will be coming along the outside of the complex uh, to get to that viewing platform. Uh, I don't have a footage of it in detail, but we'll get a little bit closer. Uh, you can see the main viewing area here and then the roofed uh, uh, access to it. Uh, which comes along the path that goes by the exterior Velociraptor uh, exhibit. So that uh, is uh, our tour through the building, uh, anyway. 
and our view of what the guests can see. Oh, I guess I forgot what I had done with this. We're going down through the access area. Uh, you can see your restroom there and the pathway through the rocks. Uh, but uh, guests can see animals that come up on top of these rocks. Uh, there is a, a sort of dry moat between the fence there and uh, the guests and the rocks. So the animals don't actually get up to the fence right there. Uh, so there's a view back into the habitat. I think it's mostly working pretty well. Uh, undeveloped area there and a bit of the passageway toward that Velociraptor habitat which involves moving through this uh, cavern area and on toward the, uh, the food kiosk uh, tucked away here and on out past the Velociraptor enclosure. Uh, oh, excuse me. We've got some uh, animal video coming up uh, of the creatures in here, but of course the traditional uh, aerial view to give you a sense of the layout of the whole thing. You can see the main entrance to the park beyond the Jadochta complex uh, and uh, the, the new improved parking lot. Anyway, on to animals. Uh, we'll get to watch them go. Um, as I mentioned earlier, there's a lot of animals I wanted to put into this park that we don't have access to yet. Um, and what that means is that this is the last video for this, uh, this park for a while. Uh, it's going on hiatus, uh, and I'll come back to it, assuming I can get back into it. This is early access after all, and I've lost functional access to some of my parks because things have just changed too much um, or I haven't put in the work to bring them back up to the necessary standard for them to be functioning. Anyway, so uh, next week will be something uh, different in the way of a project um, and uh, I hope you'll come back for that. Uh, if you've been enjoying uh, Lake Wainwright, uh, uh, make a comment, uh, like this video, you know, if you've been liking my stuff in general, uh, subscribe. It all encourages me to keep doing this. Anyway, uh, Photo Bomb by uh, Predoceratops and our little Sitakasaurus going out to enjoy the outside. Uh, off he goes. Um, these, this low gate that they're going through, which is reasonably sized for them, uh, actually allows the keepers to get through it. They, they do a little bit of phasing, but they can go through it. And we get the termites on the termite mound there running around while the Sitakis eats its fill. Um, and then decides to head back inside uh, by the scenic route, uh, which involves a good bit of waiting. Uh, Not my favorite skin design, but uh, it's it's okay. It, it looks decent. Um, paddling through the water. Still don't have our water animal interactions yet. Uh, that's something that will come eventually. Anyway, thanks for stopping by today. Uh, pretty much uh, finished, and I hope to see you again in another one. Uh, till then, be kind to each other out there. Take care. And that's all for me today. Bye now.